Okay, so we've got our farrow and hut in place. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our bars ready to set up inside the farrow and hut so our sow don't roll over and, and squish our baby piglets. The girls have got the bars. Girls, bring them on in. Okay, so you're going to have two pieces, and on the end of it, it's going to go together right here in the middle. You're just going to put, push until it won't push anymore. Now, if you look on the side, there's some little prongs on each side, and what you're going to do is you're going to take that, and you are going to turn it around first. We've got it backwards. And then you're gonna stick those into the ground like that and set it down where you want it. So if you're wanting it straight, this is the time to do it. All right, and look, you just push those in the ground. Now you set it down. Okay, we're gonna take our farrow and hut and we're gonna pull it over the top. So now this is uh, this is kind of the frustrating part. If you think working cattle's uh, bad, then you just wait until you do this. At some point, we've moved this porta hut, and if you look, it's not completely straight. So the next part is getting it straight, obviously, but you also have to put the stakes in. You got these three pieces of rebar that come with the porta hut, and if you look, there's a piece of welding tack on one side so that you can drive it. Yay, so far. Now, just to be honest, I don't know if you're supposed to do it that deep or this deep. I always do it on the short end and they never move it, okay? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Um, but you take them and there are little eyelets right there on each end of the porta hut that you've undoubtedly noticed. You put one there, another one there, and right in the back in the center on the outside of the porta hut, there's another eyelet. And we're gonna take our maul and we're gonna put them in now, usually that's all you would do, but on these bars that we've just set in for Farron, there's eyelets right here. We're gonna line those up on the bottom, and then we're gonna put our porta hut on top and put the eyelet over it and put it in. Okay, here's our close up of our eyelets. We've got our piece of rebar, we've got a hole right there, and we've got a hole right there. Okay, this goes on the bottom. Then we're gonna pull this piece over. You might need to use your foot or something. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it in the top one and then the bottom one. And then Ellie's gonna knock it down for us. All right, let me push this down. Now this one's the easy one. You can take, you can get it right very easily okay see this little this little tack weld right there that stops the rebar from going too far in the ground hopefully uh we'll be able to get it up easy now here's number two we're going to do this next front one and it's going to take three of us to do it ellie's going to bring them in the mall Maggie's gonna be right here moving around. Ellie's gonna go to the back and she's gonna push for us. Okay, so the easiest way to do it, Maggie's gonna hold that. We got it lined up. Now don't put your fingers in there. Maggie's pretty smart. Did you see her move her fingers real quick? Okay, so we're gonna get our first piece lined up. And look how much it's off. It's off by just sitting still a good four inches. We're gonna pick it up. Maggie just moved it. There you go. They made it look easy that time. So we've got it lined up. Now we're gonna take our maul. Drive this all the way in. All right, so we're gonna put our last uh, piece of rebar in the back in our little frame right here. If you are smarter than I am and know what this is for, let me know in the comments. Uh, I hadn't figured that one out. I'm, I'm sure it's to, to pick it up or to do something that's very simple, but uh, I haven't figured that one out. Uh, I always hook a chain up to it. Please let me know in the comments. Okay, so got our last piece of rebar. 
right here. I think that's out. And it's down. The ground's not exactly level right here. There's a little piece of uh, hole at the bottom. I bet you could fix that, or if you hadn't beat it all to pieces, you could probably get it straight on there and it'd sit flush. The ground out here is not exactly flush, so uh, it's not working for us. I'm not concerned about it. There's going to be straw in there or maybe some uh, cedar chips. I think we've got some cedar chips. Uh, and it should work itself out. But if you're concerned about it, you can figure it out. If worse came to worse, you could take a grub and hoe or something and pull a little dirt to it. I'm not going to worry about it. All right, now we have our Farron hut all set up. We've got our bars inside so our piglets don't get squished. And the next thing that we're going to do is put our front on. If you've seen our other videos, we usually don't put them on. That might contribute to the Porta Huts getting bent. We're not concerned about it. They're going to get beat up anyways by the pigs, so it's not a big deal. Um, I'm going to show you exactly how it works. Now, whenever you get it, there's going to be this little piece on there. And it's a little square right here. And if you see, you can't pull it out. So get you a pry bar or maybe a hammer or something and you can just easily well I say easily let me look at it pick it up and just pry it out now what that has is a little piece of square and it will come over your runners on the side where we put the rebar in. You remember the hole that we stuck it down in and tamped it? Okay, you're going to set this over and close it like that. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We have everything together except for our door. We, there's a piece of uh, iron, angle iron, tacked onto the side over there, and it hooks over that sled. Okay, you remember the other one that I showed you on here? It's going to be the same thing. So what we're going to do is there are some little pieces a rebar or, or some kind of metal that are welded on here. They sit up underneath this lip. So we're gonna position those. Maggie's gonna come on the inside. And we're gonna make sure that right over there that you're gonna hold that in place because that's gonna be where it wants to come out. So again, right here, there's a sled and it's hooked on it. And then we're gonna take this piece right here and have it ready so that when all these are lined up under the ridge right there, that we can just close it. So we're gonna do that now. So now the last thing we have to do is to click this piece of metal over, which is already lined up. We've already got everything ready. And we're gonna put it behind this bar and the tension is gonna keep it uh, right there. Now I'm very tempted to take this bar out. I'm not gonna do it, I don't think, uh, cause we don't wanna get everything off white here at the end. So it's probably gonna be a pain, but we're gonna to try to knock this in now. Not as bad as we thought. The next step is to put our roller up. Now you're thinking, why is there a roller on here? It is so baby piglets will roll instead of climb out. This is to keep them in. Now, the way it works is there's a, a lip on here. We're going to sit it on this, and there's some eyelets right there. Very, 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 very simple. So you stick it on, put it up, and there was probably some kind of hardware or something. Maybe there wasn't. I don't know to do, uh, but if there was, I lost it. So we're just going to drop us some brace nails in there. That side is wanting to catch a little bit. So there that is. Now I'm gonna push this up. But that's what keeps it on. And then you maybe piglets can't get out. Okay, so now we're ready for our last step in setting up our Farrowin huts. The last part of setting up your farrowing hut is putting some bedding down for your animals. We've got some pine shavings from Tractor Supply. 
we were really excited after we got everything done late last night to come out here and check and see if maybe they had some pigs early. They didn't, but what they did do was hop the fence and go to their old paddock over here. Now, there was some hay and some straw where they had pushed out and they made them a little sleeping area. They were out under the open stars last night sleeping there. Uh, so this morning we got up early, we came over here, we got them back in. Uh, they've got their feeder, they've got hay, two piles of hay, they've got both of their farrowing huts, they've got water, and now all we need them to do is just stand there and have the babies. So hopefully they'll do that. If not, and they get out and go to where the other nest was, we'll figure it out. We're just gonna pray about it and hope that everything turns out for the best. Hope you enjoyed our video, like and subscribe.